Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. How are we all doing? It has been a very unintentionally long amount of time since I have filmed. I am so sorry for just disappearing without notice and I will explain all in this video, not that there's that much to explain, it's not that dramatic, but I kind of wanted to come back here and give a bit of an explanation. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to say, it's just going to be a stream of consciousness ramble, but I'm back just to be a bit chatty. I've got my trusted cup of tea off to the side, so this is just kind of an informal, how are we all doing? Let's check in because it has been a hot minute. Yeah, I hope you all had fantastic Christmases, which kind of feels a bit crazy to say that because we are now fast approaching March, like I can't believe it's already the end of February and we're two months into the new year, but I hope you had wonderful Christmases and a fantastic new year. Happy 2024, everybody. Again, like, can you believe how fast 2023 went? Like, it's like I blinked and the year was over, but here we are. And uh, yeah, here I am <laughs> back on YouTube after a little two month break. I suppose you're all wondering where I've been, why I haven't been filming. I did kind of disappear without notice and like I said, it was unintentional. Um, I guess take it back a little bit. I think my last video was at the end of December, some Christmas and potentially New Year celebrations with my friends who came up to Newcastle to celebrate, see the New Year in with me. And I was just really enjoying that break. Like, I don't, know, I don't even know how long I've been on YouTube now. Is it two years, something like that? Maybe longer, I, just, I don't even know. I've completely lost track of time. And I filmed like every single week and I don't think I've missed a single week ever. Um, so I kind of figured, I mean, I didn't plan to take a break. It just kind of happened where I was enjoying the Christmas, enjoying the time with my friends and just didn't really feel like picking the camera up. I think one thing I started to notice is I just wasn't really being all that present and in the moment and enjoying things whilst I was living them because I was trying to live them behind a camera and make sure I documented it all. Obviously I started this channel because I wanted to document memories and life events and have something lovely to reflect back on as I get older and so my family can see it and my friends can see it and they can see what I'm up to in London especially when they're all the way back in Newcastle and I'm down here and they don't get to see everything I'm up to so what started out as just like a video diary for myself my friends my family has kind of evolved into something a little bit more than that now and sometimes it was sort of career tips career advice other times it was just vlogging my life and I never really had a plan <laughs> with YouTube stuff it was kind of just filming bits of my life as and when I wanted to because it was fun because you enjoyed it things that I wanted to look back on and just just doing what felt right and I kind of started moving away from more of the advice style videos into the more vlog style videos but then that does mean it seeps into your daily life more and more and more and I love that like do not get me wrong I love vlogging I love sharing it with you all I love getting your advice about places to go I love reading your comments all the nice messages you send me on Instagram like I am so so grateful I know I'm a very very small channel but I appreciate each and every little interaction I get every single day I take the time to read them all and it's such a lovely little community so thank you for everyone who has subscribed liked commented or even if you're just silently in the background watching my videos and never interact because i am a bit of i'm one of those on youtube when i'm watching other people but i appreciate all of it like thank you so so much but i guess and as i said it wasn't conscious to just stop and i didn't think it would be so long but i guess i kind of just started to get a little bit overwhelmed with filming all the time hang on tea break I'm just rambling on as I said a stream of consciousness I didn't intend to take a break it just kind of happened where I was starting to feel a bit overwhelmed with filming all the time especially when it's like my life is constantly on film and feeling a pressure to always be doing interesting things and I always said I would never be that type of person online like I want to show the highs the lows like a lot of my life is just the mundane admin bits in between and I don't know I guess I started to put pressure on myself to film interesting content and then when life wasn't so interesting or life was tough or life was busy I was kind of putting pressure on myself to keep filming even when I didn't necessarily have the time for it and probably needed to just take a step back and and keep enjoying it and I think it got to the point where it was just like I need to hit that Friday deadline I need to post this Friday otherwise people will wonder where I've been and I mean that's not particularly sustainable and holding myself it was only me holding myself accountable to that deadline but I do put a lot of pressure on myself and I think I'd feel bad if I missed a Friday or I'd, I'd feel bad if the content wasn't very good and a lot of it was putting pressure on myself to have really good b-roll which is really random like 
I love just chatting to the camera, but I think I started to be like, oh, that background just looks boring. It's just me chatting to the camera in the same position for like 20, 30 minutes straight. I've got to have interesting B-roll where I'm filming walking around London, filming with my friends, filming like making lunch just everything I was trying to film and <laughs> that's quite a lot like to just constantly have your life on camera and then yeah I guess sometimes the people in my life don't want to be on video as well and I think being conscious of that like it's my channel it's my life but also being aware that sometimes people around me don't want that documented or they don't feel like they can relax or no one's ever actually specifically said this to me but I'm just trying to be conscious of it where like we're doing things as friends and then I whip a camera out and people are like oh I'm trying to enjoy this like I don't I don't want to be on video I don't want to perform <laughs> you know so just trying to be more conscious of that I, I don't even know where I'm going with this as I said I'm just rambling a bit but naturally as well my life is getting just a hell of a lot busier I started this hobby back in lockdown which is crazy to think that was such a long time ago but obviously we had a lot of free time in our hands then I wasn't going out and seeing people because we couldn't so I had all of the time in the world to film and chat and edit and it was fun it was like a time filler at the start and then it became something I loved and a new hobby I was developing and a new community that was growing and like I had all of the time to give to it now I live in London I live a fast-paced job my graduate scheme is fast approaching its end and I'm going to be rolling off and getting my promotion very soon so work is just busy all the time and I've made so many more friends which means my calendar is so much more busy i have work friends from my business scheme my tech scheme both the first year grads and the second year grads on the tech scheme i have my cambridge friends i have my home friends i have family and it means every weekend is just always crazy busy seeing people meeting up with friends doing stuff and then in the weekends where i'm not running all over london i'm in the house doing my chores getting my groceries in doing my meal prep so life is just kind of taken over a bit as i've said it's just not that dramatic like nothing bad happened thank you for all of the kind messages where people were saying like are you okay i'm worried about you has something bad happened no nothing bad has happened life just kind of has taken over a bit because that's what happens and i figured i just i just didn't have the bandwidth to be filming everything anymore it was getting to the point where i'd be like running out the door late for a tube or a train to meet a friend and i was trying to capture a video before i left the house when really i should have just been focusing on getting ready and, and going and not trying to capture it and just thinking this is a missed week I'm not gonna have the time to film or I'm um, or just enjoying the time with my friends and giving 100% of my brain space to that so that kind of brings us to where we are now where like I, I guess I didn't plan on taking a break but I kind of naturally took a step back over Christmas because I was just enjoying the time with my family and my friends who from back home who don't naturally feature on the videos and then I was like actually I kind of like this slow and easy living. You know that song where it's like, I think I like this little life. <laughs> I feel like that's been my, my soundtrack for my whole life uh, the last few months. Where I just got used to not filming everything and being like, wow, it's actually okay to not film everything. You do not need to document everything. And this isn't just YouTube, by the way. Like, it was social media in general, like constantly needing to take the most perfect Instagram pictures, constantly needing to upload to Facebook, constantly needing to video for YouTube. And I was actually like, I'm enjoying taking a step back from social media. I didn't realise how much I was comparing myself and my life to other people, how much pressure I was putting myself to be consistent with my content all the time. And I just enjoyed taking a step back. You guys know that, you know, most years for Lent, I tend to give up social media or I try to take a step back. I've got a timer on my phone to reduce the amount of hours I spend on my phone. And I've limited that to three hours a day now. And I'm consistently getting like anywhere between one and three hours. So I'm really proud of myself. But I've just been enjoying life and being present and I, I'm a big fan of my new year's resolutions you guys know that as well so my new year's resolution this year was kind of to keep doing what I was doing I feel like I really got the balance right with things last year got the balance right with friend time and me time exercise and um healthy mindset mental health self-care and um, social media all of that sort of stuff but yeah a big one that, that I wanted to just come into this year was continue what doing what you're doing because it's working if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> and also be more present and continue to spend more time in the moment and less time on my phone, on social media, filming, taking pictures, just actually live life. And that ended up being me falling into just not filming, just stopping filming completely. And then you sort of get a bit of an anxiety of like, oh, I feel like I need to be filming this because it's, it's good content. And I'm like, no, this is, this is good life, not good content. <laughs> like th your life is not content, your life is your life. And I started to feel that guilt of, 
oh, I've, I've missed an opportunity to film this and I can never go back and refilm. And then I was like, well, you don't live to film, you live to live. I'm, I'm speaking in such random tautologies at the minute, I hope all of this actually makes sense. But yeah, I was enjoying just just living and that's where I've, that's what I've been doing, that's where I am. As I said, I made lots of new friends, so that's been keeping me really busy since I've come back. I rotated as part of my grad scheme into another new team, so I've just been finding my feet with that and preparing to roll off, which means a lot of exams and interviews at the end to make sure that I've passed my grad scheme and I'm ready for my promotion. So I've just really been going all in on that, really cutting back on social media. I actually deleted most of my apps off my phone, so I only view them in the browser or on my laptop when I get a spare minute. Just, just pulling back a lot, not taking as many pictures, not videoing as much, not really filming. And then I actually started to miss it and I realised not everything has to be all or nothing. It doesn't have to be I don't film at all or I film everything. I can kind of do the in-between and to that point of like feeling like I constantly need to fill everything, get the b-roll, get the filler time, get the mundane days. Like actually I don't need to film that. I think in my head I was paranoid that if I filmed on a Monday and then jumped to a Friday, you'd be like, what's happened in all that time in between? And I was like, actually, if nothing happened in that time in between or nothing you wanted to film or lots of things happened, but you didn't want to film any of it, like, that's also fine. Um, I look at the content creators that I love watching, like people like, I really love Grackle. And I'm like, she jumps all over the place. And I don't sit there thinking, why hasn't she showed me the days in between? Or like, I, I wanted to see that. Like, that's her, like, she's entitled to it. And I, I need to start treating myself with the same courtesy of like, I don't need to share everything and you I, you guys don't even expect that of me either like everyone's so understanding and respectful but like I said it's all self pressure so I've started slowly vlogging again because I went to a technology conference recently and really wanted to film that because I was like this is so cool like I love my job I love what I do and it's not often that I get to go to a conference and I wanted to remember that and share that and it's kind of easing me nicely back into vlogging where it's not like I need to film every single second, I need to film every excited thing and non-exciting thing. I can just do it when I want to and not force myself if I don't want to. And that includes the exciting bits. If there are exciting bits that like I'm I'm just enjoying in the moment and don't want to film, then I don't have to film that and I I don't have to be like, oh I missed that one really good opportunity there. I should have filmed that. Anyway, I'm I'm rambling, I'm fully rambling. And I also appreciate this is a really first world problem. Like like I said, like this isn't me trying to be dramatic. This is just me explaining, because I do feel a bit bad that I just disappeared and didn't say where I was going and why. I think once I'd left it so long, it kind of felt like, I don't know, a bit nerve wracking coming back to be like, do I need a big explanation or can I just start again? Or are people gonna be like, that was odd, where have you been for two months? So I guess this is just a short, I say short explanation, I think we're on to like 15 minutes of me rambling now. But short explanation of where I've been, yeah, just been, just been living life. And I guess to that question, like, am I quitting YouTube? Am I coming back? Um, I'm not quitting, I don't think I'm quitting. It's just, it might be a little bit less frequent, it might not be everything, it might be as and when I want, and I think I'm gonna have to be okay with that. Like, not consistently posting every Friday if I don't have something to post, just, posting what I want like the aim for me isn't to grow my channel it's not to make a living from it it's to just document my life the bits that I I want to look back on or want to share with people or where I can help people or what I want my family to see so that is in short <laughs> an explanation of where I've been so no I'm not quitting YouTube I might be around a little bit less frequently not posting so much on say Instagram and things but I will still be around as and when you see me so keep an eye out for content thanks for sticking with me and thanks for yeah your patience and understanding i really appreciate that i hope you take this well as well i know a lot of people like to consistently follow my content so this might be a bit of like a oh she's not posting consistently anymore but that is where my head is at and if you made it this far thank you so much for listening because this has had absolutely zero structure to it it's just been a little cup of tea and chit chat but um yeah, keep your eyes peeled for more content and I hope you're all doing well and I hope 2024 is going swimmingly. As ever, thanks for watching everybody and maybe you'll see me next week, maybe it'll be the week after. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye!